In this video we'll show you how we can machine this basic part. So we've uh, imported the iJust file. So what we need to do now is to um, set up the tools and decide how we want to machine this. So let's do the tools first. So we go into the milling tab and choose tool. So we have tool number one offset registers for the radius, the length and so on, the type of tool it is, so let's choose an end mill and the diameter. If we were using a bull nose tool then we could enter a corner radius and if we were using a conical cutter we could enter the cutting edge angle. So as you click on each one of those um, input windows the diagram there shows you what it's expecting. So that's defined the tool. If we click on the tool within the objects tree window, it highlights it. If we click somewhere else, it goes away. The tools, when we have the tools, we can generate a list of tools and save them away in a tool file. And we can have as many tool files as we like. So that's the tool that we're going to use. So the basic concept of 3D CAM is that it's based on solids and sketches. A sketch is a 2D shape that it can use for profiling and pocketing operations. When we've created the sketch, if we associate with it a surface, which is generated from a solid model, then we get a 3D toolpath. So to show you how this works, if I just go into the XY view and just create a rectangular shape. So that's created that as a sketch and it draws it at Z0. So if I use the tool that we defined and we use that sketch, you'll see what happens. So we go into milling and we define a pocket, we set the step over, any material allowance that we need, starting place will be the boundary, and we'll have no surface, set up the depth, and choose the sketch that we want to use. So if we do that, then it creates the toolpath based on the sketch only. So it's not taking into account the model. If we generate a surface from that model and use that within the pocketing operation, you'll see how it then creates the surface and generates the toolpath based on that surface. So in the objects tree window here, we can see that it was recalculating. So as you can see, it's now used the surface that we generated from the model to create the toolpath, but it's based on the sketch. So we're always dealing with sketches which define the area to be uh, machined, and then optionally we choose whether we want to use a surface which will generate a 3D toolpath on that sketch. So that's the basics of using 3D CAM. Subsequent videos will go into greater detail.